Let's go over data correction for the student level report. To start working errors and warnings, select data corrections. It's your choice on how your school wants to work on errors and warnings. You can either work on them per student or per error or warning. The error or warning page also shows if it is related to financial aid or enrollment. If it is related to enrollment, you will need a submission data or submission data alternate role in addition to the financial aid officer role to work the error or warning. If multiple records have the same errors, you can update the relevant fields, select the student records, and update and acknowledge the selected records. You can also click an individual student record to get more detail and work all errors and warnings associated with it. On individual student records, errors are highlighted in red and warnings in yellow. Working on warnings is optional, but we highly encourage you to review and update them as needed. There is a section on the student information and two tabs under it, one for program information and one for financial aid information. Click the error to see more information on the error or warning and what was submitted versus what you previously reported through enrollment reporting to the clearinghouse. Then update the relevant fields. When finished correcting the student's record, select Validate, and then Confirm. If any new errors or warnings occur due to the changes, you should review and update them as appropriate and validate them. If the data is a change to what is in the Clearinghouse system, then after validation, an additional Submit to Clearinghouse button will appear. Please also click this button. However, if you determine that the student should not be reported, you can elect to exclude a student. If the records you submit for validation are also on an enrollment file that is currently being processed, they may not be accepted. You can see the count of records to be submitted in the award year row. You can access a list of these records under the student records tab for the cohort by going to the Corrected Records tab, where you will see their Ready to Submit status. When all records have been corrected and relevant records submitted to the Clearinghouse for the cohort year, you can mark the cohort year as complete. For more information, watch our other tutorials or refer to the FVTGE Reporting User Guide.